as a homeless girl. <sighs> it's not cool. So what's up guys? Got Dave here again on the e-bike and I'm doing a freaking big old loop going up and over. I'm going up Rocky Peak and then going all the way over the top of the mountain and coming out at uh, Las Lajas Trail. It feels funny going this slow. Normally I'm hitting this turn here at like 60. <laughs> That's what I'm normally doing. That is what I'm normally doing on Saturday morning. Well, not on Saturday, I shouldn't say that because I actually took the day off today. Decided not to work overtime this morning till noon and just come up here and ride instead. Just freaking go get a workout instead of working. One thing that I was really curious to see is how accurate the odometer is on this bike. And it looks like it's pretty darn close to bang on with the, uh, with the GPS. Yeah, see, look at that. Odometer, eight miles, eight miles. Freaking exact, man. <laughs> so from my house to here, to the actual trailhead, <laughs> where this trail begins is freaking eight miles. Figured I'd put my helmet on for a second and film just so I'm going up this trail pretty quick and I'm not really getting any footage because I don't have my helmet on <sighs> because it sucks wearing a full face helmet and breathing your own air when you're going uphill <sighs> this is like just full on fucking gnarly steep uphill the whole way up this thing and e-bike or no e-bike if you don't know how to ride I'm not going to be able to do it Damn. there's the hummingbird trail that's about I'd say about a third of the way up So glad I got full suspension now, man. Hey. These trails are brutal now, man. Back when I was a kid, they were not like this. At all. <laughs> they were actually just dirt trails. There was actually dirt on top of all of this. Now, years and years later, all the dirt has washed away and it is freaking messed up, dude. Oh wow, look at that view. Gotta stop off here. Heck yeah. That is the valley out there, my friends. <laughs> It's crazy, like, completely built, and then, like, on this side of the freeway, it used to just all be like this, just all hills. Now you can see, like, just all the freaking, ch -ch, there's going to be houses everywhere, dude. There's going to be so much traffic when they get through doing what they're doing. Five, ten years from now, it is going to be a whole another situation around here. And that's the top of the mountain right there, pretty much. You know, that that uphill that you see right there is the last super steep one that goes up. And then right at the top, like after it goes around that, that's where the uh, Chumash Trail is that, that takes you down. But I'm just going to keep on going and come out like all the way, like basically like way over there. Morning, morning. Hey. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> A bunch of people back here, man. Oh, crap. <laughs> A 
Good morning. This is freaking brutal. Oh, no wonder I'm getting so tired. I got my seat down. That's why. Oh. As sucky as it is to do downhill with the seat up, it is just as sucky to do uphill with your seat down. <laughs> Goes both ways. You can actually tell what's going on here. Check this out. There is the one valley, and there is the other valley, and this is just like in between. It's pretty rad. Give you an, an idea of kind of like what the area looks like where I live. <laughs> it's a pretty nice place. I'm very grateful to be here and have access to freaking whoa mountain bike trails and the beach and mountains that I can go snowboarding and I mean it's just like you know California's got everything like all oh, well at least this area like Southern California right where I live do we've got like pretty much everything as far as like physical activity stuff good morning oh. Oh, that was pretty much like uh, probably like 90% of the uphill on this ride was that right there. So it's cool, man. Cha cha cha. It is really easy to go fast on these freaking bikes, man. Compared to like my old bike. There's the Chumash trailhead. I totally was thinking that I passed it. It's way farther on this side of the hill than I thought it was. There's one of those rocks with the... Uh... See all the rocks up here? Check this out. All the rocks up here are like made out of seashells. If you could see how they're just like seashell fossils, like just everywhere, like every single rock. It's like so weird. And one of the weirdest things like to me is, uh, oh, there's lizards everywhere. Hopefully not snakes. Like, see, look at that one, a seashell fossil. And one of the weirdest things to, to me is, and this is the truth, is that anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world, you go to the top of the highest freaking peak around, and you know what you find? Is seashells. Like all this used to be underwater. I mean, obviously that's what that means. Whoa, there's a big one. There's a big one there. Look at that. That one there. That looks pretty cool. That's such a trip, man. That's what that means, is that all of this used to be underwater. Yeah. This trail goes for a long ways. Yeah. Oh, dude. 
thing lands so freaking smooth. Yeah. So one thing that really sucks about this trail is that right at the end, it's like somebody crashed down into there. I wonder what happened. That is gnarly, dude. If I do a ride like this every single weekend, I think I'll be good, man. I think like, you know, like if I do 20 miles every single weekend, I think I'll get into shape pretty quick. Whew. That was rad. Oh, that was fun. So that is it. Thank you guys once again for joining me on my ride. And talk to you next time. <laughs> Peace.